Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to my home. We'll be learning here for a little while, so I thought I'd try to make it like our classroom as much as possible. So we'll be singing songs, working on our sounds and words, reading books, doing some games. So I hope we have some fun together. So, hello. Buenos dias. Bonjour. Mingalaba. Assalamu alaikum. Jambo san. It's good to see you. Our letter of the day is A. And we remember A makes two sounds. It says A, A, apple, or A, A, acorn. Okay, so right now I'd like to review with you how we count the sounds in words and we'll use an a ah sound in the middle, okay, of these words. You ready? So it goes like this. Put your hand like this and we count. One, two, three, four, five. So let's use the word cat. Let's think about the three sounds in Cat. Let's slow it down. Cat. Cat. First sound is k. Second sound is a. Third sound is t. And then we put it all together. Cat. So let's do that again. K. A. T. Cat. Let's try another one. You did a good job. Let's try bat. Are you ready? Let's slow it down. Bat. Bat. All ready to count the sounds? Get your hand ready. Are you ready? B. A. T. Bat. Again. B. A. T. Bat. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, we're going to go over our agenda now really quickly. That means what we're going to do today. I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks. Here we are looking at our agenda. That means something that tells us what we are going to do today. So let's read it together. Today is March 30th, 2020. What are we going to do today? First, we will sing songs and practice hearing the sounds in our words. Our letter of the day is A. Next, we will read a story and talk about our question words, who, what, where, when, and why. Last, we will make a craft and write sentences together with the words first, next, and last. All right, so now we know what we're going to do. I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks a lot. Hello, welcome back. Here we are, it's time to sing some songs like we just talked about. Let's start with the ABCs. You ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, N, job you remembered it great all right next song whenever we read stories we always ask questions about who what where when and why that's where we start right now who what where when and why maybe you remember this song are you ready let's practice Join me. Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Now we're going to talk about the words who and what today. Ready? Who 
are the people or the characters in your story? Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Let's do that again. Who are the people or the characters in your story? Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? And then we talk about who and what in sentences like this. Who and what are the subjects of your sentence? Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? Try that again. Who, where, what are the subjects of your sentence? Who, what, where, when, and why? Who, what, where, when, and why? So we said, who are the people or the characters in your story? So today when we read our story, we'll be looking for who, who it is that we're talking about, right? Or the character, that's what we call that. If we write our sentences, we know that who and what are the subject. That means who we are talking about or what we are talking about in our sentence. We'll get to that later. Thank you for singing with me. See you soon. Hello and welcome back. We're going to read a new story today. This is from Lesson 14 in Your Journeys book. I believe we may have read this story before, but it's always good to review. So let's look at our words to know. To. To. Into. Into. Three. Three. Starts. Starts. Over. Over. Four, four, five, five, watch, watch. Two, this two is the number two. Here's the word three, so we have some number words here. This is the word four, the number four, and five, the number five. Let's look over here. Two. Two desert lizards are sitting on the rock. Two. Into. Into. The bird flew into the big cactus. Into. Three. Three. There are three birds resting in the sun. Three. Starts. Starts. The desert starts to cool down at sunset. Starts. Over. A hawk flew over the tall rocks. Over. Four. All four legs of this fox are strong. Four. Five. This desert flower has five red spots. Five. Watch. The rabbits watch and listen for danger. Today we'll go right to the story. The Big Race. The Big Race. Written by Pam Munoz Ryan. Illustrated by Viviana Garofoli. We have an essential question, which means a very important question. Why is it important to have rules? Hmm. Good question. Why is it important to have rules? Today is the big race. Win the race. I'm sorry. Win the big race. Win this big cake. Hmm. 
I like cake, said Red Lizard. I will run in that race. Red Lizard gets to the race. Four animals will run with him. Cottontail is not late. She will run in lane one. Rat naps in the shade. She will run in lane two. Snake, right here, takes his spot in lane three. Roadrunner stands in lane four. There's Roadrunner. He waves to his pals. Red Lizard is in lane five, right there. The animals bend and hop. The flag is down and the race starts. Many animals watch and clap. Cottontail does not get far. Rat falls into the hay. Snake stops and chases bugs. Roadrunner trips over a rake. Who will win? It's Red Lizard who wins. Hip, hip, hooray. Watch me eat this cake, he yells. Red Lizard looks at his big cake. Red Lizard looks at his pals. His pals like cake too. What will Red Lizard do now? Red Lizard gets five plates. He gets cake for his pals, too. Hip, hip, hooray for Red Lizard. The end. Hello, boys and girls. Here I am again. So I promised you we were going to make something, so I wanted to make something that had a short A sound in it, so I found some old paper that came in the mail that I'm not going to use and I just cut a page off of it and what I'm going to do is make a fan oh a fan so if it gets too warm for you we can make a fan so it's pretty easy we're gonna grab the edge here we're gonna fold it up about as much as the first part of your finger here just this much and hold it down Try to make it even, and then push down. Go across like this to make the fold very sharp. And then we're gonna flip the paper this way, ready? Flip, okay. Then we're gonna take where we folded that paper again and fold it up the same amount, the same amount right here and push down it nice and flat and then we're gonna grab the paper and flip it again so we're gonna hold it and flip it over again this way again and we take everything that we folded again and we try to fold it again the same way it doesn't have to be perfect but if you follow your lines very well it'll be better in the end and then we flip again and we're gonna keep going and flipping. Okay, now we have this all folded up. Now I'm gonna take the end, I'm gonna turn it this way, watch. Turn, 
So I just have one end here. I'm going to fold it up a little bit. Again, first part of my finger that much. I can hold it now. My finger and my thumb, I'm going to hold it. And bring it up like this. And look, when I spread it out, I have a fan. And I can cool off. Just like you when it gets hot in the summer, huh? Fan. Easy. Paper that comes in the mail. Don't even need new paper. Use old paper. It's kind of fun. Have fun. Peace.